everyone. It's been a year since I purchased my MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is a non touch bar version. And my main problem with this laptop is the memory capacity. Because I chose the 128GB before I purchased it. But then I realized that the 128GB is not enough, especially when you are editing photos and videos. So I keep searching for alternative solution for this problem. Took me several months. Finally, I found out that there are several adapter has been released in China market. So you can find it in AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood, or eBay. But before we proceed, there are things that you need to prepare to upgrade your SSD. First, you need a flash drive at least 16GB or higher. So I chose the Sandy's 32GB USB, USB-C which I can plug in directly to my MacBook for a new macOS installation. You can check my videos on how to create the bootable USB with macOS. Also, you need a pentalobe, p-pipe, and t4 screw. I highly recommended the Xiaomi High Precision Screwdriver to open your MacBook. The parts that you need is the SSD adapter which I purchased the Syntec M.2 NVMe adapter because this is the one that have a good review in Amazon and actually it works properly. Third is the NVMe SSD. So this time I chose the Sabrent 1TB Rocket NVMe. Once again, don't purchase the SSD 2280 SSD because it will not fit in your MacBook Pro SSD adapter. So this time, just look for a 2242 and also the 2230 is supported. I will put the link in the description below so you can check it by yourself. The next things that we need to do is to open up all the screws to the backplate of your MacBook. You can use the pentaloop pipe to open up all the screws. Now, after that, we can remove the backplate of the MacBook. Next things that we can do is to insert the SSD to SSD adapter. Now you can remove another two screws to detach the trackpad connection to the logic board. In this part, you need to remove another screw to disconnect the power of your battery. Now it's time for us to remove the SSD. You can remove another two screws and lift up the SSD.
yes and it's finally done and guys hopefully it will work after this upgrade wait for it until it boot so now it's not working so we have to press the power button it's time for us to install the operating system finally the upgrade is done So that's it for today's video guys, um, if you have any question you can leave your comment down below and once again thank you for watching.